Welcome everyone here to MGM Classic Cars. My name is Thomas. You can see my big head in the shadow right there. I am finally back doing these drive videos here at MGM due to the weather, okay? If you look at, here's the melted snow. Streets are dry. And now I have the opportunity to do what I love to do and test drive these classic muscle cars and tell you all about them. So the 67 Mu um, Mustang, oh my God. I got a lot of Mustangs. The 67 Camaro, it's got a really nice paint job on it. We're gonna go over the color code when we get to the cow tag part. But I wanna walk around the car first and share this with you. And then also I'm going to get a little closer and share any imperfections in the paints that I see. I try to be 100% as much as I can transparent with these 50 year old cars. They're not brand new, maybe brand new to you and you're to your family and your garage, but they're not brand new cars. As you can see, the beautiful paints all around this little Camaro. Well, this kind of hit right there gives it away a little bit. Yes, it is a big block car. I'm going to go over that with you when I pop open um, the hood for you guys. It's got a nice cow induction, right? The bulge in the hood. Some guys don't think, believe it's a cow induction, but because it's got a bulge in the hood, I believe it's a cow induction. It's got the bumblebee black stripe on it. Nice front spoiler. You got the LED lights there. Chrome bumpers look good. Grill looks good. You have the torque thrust wheels, power disc in the front, nice radio um, tires all around the car. Wing windows. Uh, what are wing windows? Right here, these are their wing windows. Um, they're only right there, see? They're only available in 1967, which was the first year for the Camaro. So it's an air ventilation. When you're cruising, air comes right through there and right through the cockpit. It's a pretty cool feature. I don't know why they didn't continue this, but anyway, that's the in 1967. Nice door handles, vertical strips look good. Weather stripping looks good. Drum brakes in the back, nice rear chrome bumper. Um, all the bezels on the back are all original to the car. Right there is where you put your gas. Okay, twist and right into there. Beautiful, oh, beautiful reflection on the car. All right, I'm gonna get a little closer now. Look at this. It is a mere finish, guys. Very, very nice. Very nice, very clean. I'm looking for chips, I'm looking for scratches, I'm looking for dents, now that I'm a little bit closer to the car. Okay, so right here, we don't see any, okay? Moving right along to the passenger side fender. All right, hood looks great. Front spoiler looks good. Let's move in a little closer on the driver's side here. All right, the rockers look great. And again, I don't see anything on the driver's side as well. So, paint appears to be excellent to me, as you've seen the inspection walk around. Beautiful car, man. Underneath is really nice and clean, too. It's got a 10 bolt multi. Oh, it's got the leaf springs in the back, which came stock. Dual exhaust. Let's, uh, let's check together if this is a posi unit or not. Hold on. Okay. So, one way to check if it's posi, you would just. Uh, jack up the rear end get both tires rear tires off the ground okay you would place
base to current in neutral. And now, when you spin one of the tires, say the left or the right, they should both spin. If they don't, it's not a posi car. Let me grab my gloves and we'll check it out. Okay, so now we got both tires off the ground. We're going to spin. Okay. And you can see that the other one is turning as well. Right, you see that? Okay. That is the indication of being Pisa unit. All right. So I'm gonna let the jack off and then I'm gonna let the jack off. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's bring this baby down. Okay. So to pop the hood on a 67 Camaro is right on top of the emblem here. You would just push up, just like that. Okay, and this one has a 454. I know it says 396, 375 horse. The reason that we put that sticker on there and the stickers on there is because it's period correct. In 1967, there was an SS that was built with the 396 and the 375 horse never came with the 454 so that's why that's on there but this is a big block 7.4 liter v8 454 engine it has power steering as you can see right there front power disc booster master cylinder and your disc right there on this side you can see it's got upgraded aluminum radiator big fan your alternator your period correct valve covers and obviously your four barrel holly carburetor this is your shut off switch so if you're you know not driving the car for a week you would just turn that and kill the battery but a really nice firewall was done to the car under the hood was painted it's really really nice the core support was done inside here so someone really took their time to get this thing done right. Upgraded with headers. Very nice car. I don't think you guys would be disappointed. Um, let's check out the interior really quick. Oh, Caltech, yes. Here it is. You see the NN? That stands for what the original paint color code was back when it was born. Take a guess what it was. Black? No. Seamus green? No. Gold? No. It was, give up, it was called Madeira Maroon. This is very close to that color. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Look at the stance on this thing. Let me grab the keys. I want to pop the trunk and show you guys some a little bit more details. And then we'll go over the interior. Square key is for the ignition. Moon round half, well, moon key, should I say, uh, is for the trunk. Okay, right there. Super clean, super nice. Weather stripping was installed by previous owner. He did a little of a sloppy job on it, but it's new. Here are the factory tags that tell you that this is an original sheet metal quarter on the car. Inside looks original. I don't see any patches anywhere. And also on the passenger side is also original as well, along with no patches as well. Under the trunk's been painted nice to match the rest of the car. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, let's see. I did. They do have photos of other other things, but let me show you underneath. Super clean. Dual exhaust. Okay. 
Check out these door jams on the passenger side. Door panels look good. Door sill plates, outer jams. Everything looks really nice on this one. Okay, so here's the driver's side door jam. Nice door panels upgraded with the billet for the window cranks. Brand new door sill plates. The jams look great on the driver's side as well. So this car has cruise control, okay? Never came with cruise control in 1967. Showing 47,413 miles. And we'll fire it all up and uh, we'll go through all that stuff. Nice dash pad. Headliner looks nice. The dome light functions. All the turn signals work, which we'll go over that. Seats are comfy. Looks great. side signal I said the cruise controls there um, wipers function gauges all appear to function correctly radio original <laughs> hey you hear some some static all right heat and defrost work that's to charge your uh, your iPhone if you wanted to. Horn, not working. Okay, so now that you got all the logistics here. We're going to back up and I'm going to go inside and grab my... Uh, let's see, we'll just drive it all inside. I want to grab my... Uh, Holder for my uh, iPhone, so I can take you guys for a test drive. This is the warehouse here. We got about 75 nice classic muscle cars. and girls now that I got the phone mounted there we're gonna back out of the building and we're gonna go for a nice test drive this is one of my favorite parts of my job is sharing all the information and test driving these beautiful beautiful cars that will be around longer than you and I put together okay 
So enjoy life. Enjoy it. All right. Close sesame. Look at that. That's how we roll here at MGM Classic Cars. So speedo does work, fuel gauge works, the car drives nice, nice and easy. Shifts like it should. Car stops nice. It handles nice. It does. It goes around corners nice. I honestly would have my wife drive this car with the kids in the back. That's how nice and simple it is to test drive. guys it is a 50 year old car it has been restored it's got about 5,000 miles from what I understand um, from the restoration center console is all original to the car the dash pad's been replaced along with the headliner and door panels because it does look brand new. really straight down the road when you hit the brake it doesn't pull right it doesn't pull left it does what it's supposed to it shifts nice as well I like this car bumps very well. The uh, temp gauge, I'm showing right now that it's not working. Um, so we're going to check that here at MGM Classics at our service department and make sure that um, that works. It's very important, especially with a, you know, with a big block motor, a small block motor. some differences between the 67, 68, and 69. Um, one of the differences between the three cars, um, which they call the first generation, is the 67 has the wing windows uh, for the air ventilation that I, um, that I showed you earlier in the video. The 68 um, has a little different grille, similar body on the car, but the grill and the rear tail lights are different. And then the 69, they changed the complete body um, for the Camaro. Oops. <laughs> that didn't work too well. All right, let's try that again. All right. 
right, so now that we're headed back to the shop, you've seen the exterior part, you've seen the interior, the engine underneath. I told you all about my car. Make sure you're buying your next classic from a reputable person. Um, I go through the cars more than anyone does. I'm sure if you're looking around, you can definitely understand and see that. If you need financing, we can do so. If your credit score is like 620 to 680, I can get you done with about 10% um, down. If you're actually 620 to about 699, and if you're 700 and above, I can get you done with no money down. Great interest rates, by, by the way. Open Sesame. didn't work when I was a kid, but now it does. Um, if you need delivery, send me your zip code. I'll get you a quote for the delivery. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did. Um, all right, so we're going to park this baby right over here. And again, thank you for watching MGM Classic Cars. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, click the subscribe button, okay? And that way you'll see every video that I make. Um, and maybe something will catch your eye. Share my page, okay? If you're on Facebook, like it, share it. And that way you're going to be getting a lot of my stuff on your news feed um, timeline. All right, so I hope you do that, and um, hopefully you guys will buy a car for me. Thank you again for watching. My name is Thomas at MGMClassicCars.com.